Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this edit. So this is where we're going to end, and this is the straight out of camera. Um, to begin with, I'm going to make a copy of the background layer, Command J, and then I'm going to go into the filters, and I'm going to use the camera raw filter. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go into the preset tabs right here, click that, and I'm going to go to the Storyville Spring Green and select 2. And then hit OK. I don't need to make any changes um, to this for this image, but you're welcome to go into the exposure or the luminance, any of that, and switch what you need to. Okay, so that's the before the preset and after. And as you can see, it softened up the greens quite nicely and brightened their skin. I just love it. So again, before and after. The next thing I'm going to do, uh, what I always do actually, is flatten the background. So layer flatten. And then I'm going to go into the actions, and I'm going to find the smoothing and sharpening. Here it is. And I'm going to click OK on the smoothing. I'm going to turn that down to about 50%. And then I'm going to hit the sharpening and hit play. Okay. Then I'm going to turn that down. Crank it up just a little bit there. 40, 40, 39% looks good to me. And then I'm just going to take a soft black brush at about, uh, 42% opacity and slightly wipe it off their skin. Sometimes if it's too strong it can add a little bit of green to their skin which sometimes I don't mind but in this case I want it really soft and smooth looking. Okay and that looks good to me. And then layer and flatten image and then I want to run the image base I'm going to click that and hit play. And I don't want the darkened edges. I already like um, the brightness of the image, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to also turn off the color dazzle. And what I have left is the contrast and brighten up. So I'm going to turn the brightness down to zero and then kind of just gradually increase it to where my eye likes it. And that looks good to me. And the contrast. I like how it looks on the grass, but not so much the trees. So what I'm going to do is take a soft black brush at 100% opacity, and I'm going to just wipe that off of the background and the upper half of my daughters. So before and after. Now, as you can see, my oldest daughter is a tad red here. Um, so I want to decrease that. I'm going to go into the Storyville Retouch, and I'm going to hit the Skin Color Correction and hit Play. Open it up, and then Reduce Red. I'm going to grab a soft white brush at 100% opacity, and she's going to turn gray at first, but then we'll dial it back just to take a little bit of the redness out. That looks good to me. Just took the harshness away. And she has, um, obviously the shadows from the hat, but she has a little bit of dark circles going on too. So I just want to decrease that ever so slightly. To do that, I am going to hit Command J, and then I'm going to get the patch tool, and I'm just going to draw along her eye here, and pull it down on the lighter skin. There, and that just kind of takes away the drastic punch of that dark circle. And you can always um, decrease it if you'd like, but I'm going to keep it at 100% opacity. That looks good to me. And the last thing I'm going to do is grab the Storyville Sunburst 10. So I'm going to select it all, copy, and then I'm going to paste it on the image. And then I need to transform it because I want the, as you can see, um, the sun's kind of coming from this angle. 
I want the sunburst to go to the other side. So to do that, hit Command T, and then up here by the W, put a negative by it, and set this to screen mode. Pull that over here, and then I just want to shrink it a little bit, and that looks good to me. And then I want to add a little um, dust into the air, so I'm going to take a brush, and I'm going to grab the Storyville um, Sparkle Dust Brush. I believe this is the first one out of the set. And I'm just going to run it along here. Actually, I might want to make that a little bit bigger so you guys can see it on your end. There we go. It just adds a little, um, a little something extra to the overall image. And the last thing I want to do is brighten up my daughter a little bit here and maybe add a little bit more brightness into the trees. So to do that, I am going to go into the Storyville Brighten Skin and Eyes, hit play, open it up, and then I'm going to grab a soft brush, Oops. add 100% opacity, and this is going to come on really strong, guys, but we'll dial it back. I like to see where I'm painting, so that's why I made all the actions come on strong at first, um, in case you were wondering. Just going to pop it on there a little bit. And you can also use this on the trees or wherever else you'd like to brighten, and it kind of saves time. So I'm going to go to one, zero, and then just kind of increase it as I like. I think that looks good to me. Maybe dab a little bit more on my oldest daughter, turn the brush down a little bit, and just brighten her up ever so slightly. And that looks good. So that's before and after. Maybe turn it down just a smidge. There we go. And I think we're done here, guys. Super easy and quick. Um, so this is where we started, and this is where we finished. You can find everything I used here today at the Storyville shop. You can find that at www.storybuildphotography.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.